Okay, this is uh, my foundry setup as it exists right now. What I have here is a three and a half gallon uh, galvanized bucket um, with some homemade refractory. The refractory is basically just plaster of Paris and sand. And into the side of the bucket at an angle, I have a piece of one inch black iron pipe. And back here, all toward the back of the piece of black iron pipe, I have a connector. And I just have some plastic tubing going to a propane tank. This propane tank has a regulator, a high pressure propane regulator that I bought at Menards, a uh, local home goods store. And it will go up to 20 PSI. Um, I'm sure I never get anywhere even near that. Um, I don't have a gauge on it though, so I can't really say. Um, injecting air into our piece of one inch pipe is this little guy that I found at uh, a um, second hand store here in town. And what it's for is it's just a little blower that you use to blow up uh, air mattresses and things. Works out perfect for this. So, I'm using a stainless steel canister as my uh, container that I'm doing my melting in. And it's um, normally you would use some sort of a um, graphite crucible or something like that. I tried a uh, a steel crucible and it didn't last very long and uh, I lost all my aluminum into the bottom of my foundry <laughs> melted the bottom out of it uh, also the the lid that I had cast for my foundry um, out of plaster of Paris and sand it didn't last very long either it, it um, crumbled into a zillion pieces in fact here's uh, some of the remnants of it and uh, you can see what happens uh, after some some kind of high heat it just kind of turns to chalk and yeah so I'm gonna have to do something different there um, I tried a concrete square uh, that you would like set piers on and uh, it lasted oh about two hours and then that's what happened to it so tonight i'm gonna melt uh, some aluminum ingots that i had made previously and some other scrap aluminum that i had left over i'm gonna uh, melt that and i have a um a lost foam piece in this bucket of sand here and theoretically when I pour molten aluminum on that little piece of foam sticking up there it will vaporize the foam run down into the mold and cast the part that I'm looking for um, I'll get back to it and we'll see if it did here in a few minutes Okay, so I've got uh, something on top to try to hold some of the heat in. And I'm going to fire up the uh, propane and get us the fire going. And then we'll see what happens here. So give me a little, little propane, a little strike of the... Went there, so now we got some uh, some fire going, and I'll crank the propane up a little more.
and turn on the air. Now I can turn the propane down. Okay, let me get the dross off. And I want to do it pretty quick before it cools down too much. I think most of that is just salt. Okay, looks pretty good good and hot so here we go we're going to see if this will work so I've got my foam in here well it went somewhere guess we will see here in about 10 minutes whether or not the form filled like it was supposed to and if uh, everything worked like it was supposed to it's going to take a while that's quite a bit of uh, aluminum to cool down and plus as the aluminum cools it's going to uh, shrink some and we got to let that happen and I'll be back in, oh, 10-15 minutes and let you see the result. 
Well, it's been about 15, 20 minutes, I guess. Um, uh, well, I don't guess it hurt. We'll go ahead and see what we got for the suck, pull the thing out here. Ooh. Still smoking. Hey, hey, hey. Looks like. We might have actually gotten some. Cool. I guess I need to uh, quench it in a little bit of water. But, hey, it looks... It looks surprisingly like the mold I made. Which is uh, pretty cool. Hmm. Well, let me clean it up a little bit and we'll see what it turned out like. Okay, and there's the finished product. And that was the oven going off. Another cake ready. Um, so, there is a piece of cast aluminum that uh, I cast in my own foundry. And in fact, I even put a little something on it. Now there's where the sprue was. I hadn't, didn't quite get it cleaned up. But all I've done to it is uh, I washed it up real good to get the uh, black stuff from the, from the foam off of it. And I took it out and hit it on the buffing wheel a little bit just to kind of buff it. But uh, that's the way it came out. Looks pretty good. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.